Okay, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, as we know, today we are already in uh, chapter 13. Uh, in the chapter 13, we will discuss about the open channel flow. Yeah. So I believe this slide is uh, sharing from the Dr. Muhammad Hedir bin Maslan. So never mind, we can still use because this is similar content what uh, a syllabus uh, provide yeah, inside. Okay, today we will learn about uh, some uh, objectives as mentioned in the slide. Yeah, you can see in the slide. Uh, the first one, understand how flow in open channel uh, differ from the pressurized flow in the pipes. And the second, uh, second bullet is uh, learn the different flow regimes in open channel and uh, their characteristics. Next, predict if hydraulic jumps are to accurate, accurate during flow and calculate the fraction of energy dissipated during hydraulic jumps. Understand? How flow rate in open channel are measured using sleeves, gates, and waste. Yeah. So any idea uh, what the open channel flow uh, meaning? Any idea? Apa benda tu? Huh? Ada idea untuk jawab apa tu dia open channel? Apa dia? Fluid dalam pipe yang tidak tertutup. Uh, correct. So, actually, dia open, uh, influenced by uh, uh, atmospheric pressure. Eh? So, it mean the mass contact to the uh, out space. Okay, never mind. We go to the first uh, subtopic. Yeah. Uh, in the uh, open channel flow. Actually, in the open uh, channel flow, we have several uh, uh, properties or parameter to measure what uh, influence or effect to the uh, uh, fluid flow eh, in the open channel. So we will learn what we need to uh, consider in the open channel. So actually, much of uh, properties will be influenced there in the open channel so we can uh, try to learn but uh, not much uh, different within the uh, closed channel that uh, provide in the piping or duct system yeah? okay we go to the classification of open channel flow uh, as we see in the figure uh, that the dam yeah, uh, with the, their uh, flow uh, channel so you can see the fluid yeah will contact to the open on uh, atmospheric pressure. So open channel flow refer to the flow of liquid in channel open to the atmosphere or in the partially filled conduit in the <laughs> and is uh, characterized by the presence of the liquid gas interface called the uh, free surface. So that's why we call the uh, open channel. So example, most natural flow encounter in the practice, such as the flow of the water in creeks, river and flood, uh, as well as the draining of the rainwater of highway, parking lot and uh, roof or open channel flow. Human made open channel flow system include irrigation system. Actually, this open channel is more on the uh, civil uh, designing. So, uh, in the mechanical, maybe more to the closed system yeah, in the uh, designing. So never mind, because this chapter already uh, provide in our syllabus, we try to uh, understand what the uh, property or parameter influence yeah, in this uh, uh, upper channel. So you can see if uh, we uh, cut in the cross-sectional shape yeah, in the open channel. Maybe the shape will be uh, like this, uh, more in the uh, trapezoid. Uh, Sometimes uh, in the rectangle, yeah, maybe in the half of the 
a spherical or we call semi spherical cross sectional shape. Yeah? So actually, uh, we already understand how the flow of fluid yeah, to the uh, channel itself. Yeah? So maybe we will influence by theory of the uh, no slip or we call the uh, V equal to zero uh, because when the fluid meet to the uh, solid uh, material or solid uh, of the uh, anything solid yeah, in the uh, kind of the uh, material and then the fluid will be attached to the uh, the uh, material so this is why this theory uh, we call is uh, no slip when the velocity is zero in open channel the flow velocity is zero at the side and bottom surface because of the no slip condition and maximum of the mid plane for symmetric geometries typically somewhat below the pre, uh, surface so actually the flow will be uh, considered uh, within yeah, uh, not exactly on the attachment the uh, body solid body <coughs> so the flow will be flown after by uh, distance eh, by of the uh, barrier of distance eh, from the solid body so the velocity will be varied you can see how the velocity inside of the open channel maybe eh, will be varied yeah, from the body here Okay, you can see. So by uh, distance, uh, so the the velocity will be will be increased. Okay, now we try to understand what the terminology within the uniform flow and the non-uniform uh, flow. So we can check first with the uniform flow, uh, or we call it in the UF. Yeah? In the flow depth is in vertical axis and thus the average velocity remain constant. So we call this uniform flow. And then commonly encountered in the practice in long straight section of the channel with constant slope, constant roughness, and constant cross section. So not only we're talking about the, the condition, the flow itself, also the body of channel itself. Yeah? If the roughness, shape, anything, eh, without influence the velocity, then the, the uniform flow will be performed. Okay, how we understand what the text meaning. And then the last, the flow depth is called the normal depth, which is an uh, important characteristic parameter for open channel flow. So clearly, uh, when we uh, consider this parameter is uniform flow by uh, three of uh, satisfied by three parameter yeah mentioned in the text so depth also consider not only the size of the depth uh, uh, sorry the channel itself or material itself yeah, but the depth also if no, depth is a uh, uh, variant so we cannot uh, consider as uniform so opposite of from the uniform we call non uniform uh, this talking about the velocity yeah the flow depth vary, varies with the distance in the flow direction. So of what the opposite of the uniform, we call the non-uniform. Sometimes it will be uh, the velocity, yeah, the flow of velocity in channel is a uh, barrier, so we cannot consider as a uniform flow anymore. Okay, you can see the how the uh, figure illustrate the condition of the uh, uh, uniform flow. Uh, actually, in the basically, yeah, the flow in the open channel is uh, uh, influenced by graffiti because in the open channel we will uh, try to transfer yeah, a huge a, a number or amount of the the flow rate, so we don't need yeah the pump use it because it's not efficient so what we do is yeah using 
in the graffiti uh, of energy. So we just utilize the energy from the graffiti. And at the same time, the kinematic of the velocity uh, of energy kinematic will be uh, will be worked uh, by the uh, starting of the velocity. Okay, we can see here, yeah, open channel by uh, variate of uh, uniform and then also uh, non-uniform condition of flow. You can see here. So in the part of the U, F is a uniform uh, uniform flow. Mention is mean no uh, uh, changing in both uh, in the velocity and also uh, channel shape, roughness, and also depth eh, of the uh, fluid eh, itself. So we can uh, consider as a uniform flow. But when the uh, almost, eh, almost uh, mid, eh, uh, maybe this one is uh, waterfall, yeah, waterfall. So before the waterfall, so some uh, distribute, yeah, of uh, distortion, yeah? distortion of the uh, uniform flow. So maybe uh, the flow will be uh, changed. Yeah? So this one and that part is zone, this zone we call uh, gradually varied flow. The main flow depth change gradually. So because of depth is changed. So the long distance along the channel, yeah? so the flow will be uh, non-uniform. Then, uh, Exactly after I exit the uh, zone of the gradually variable flow, so we can meet a rapidly variable flow. Mean flow depth change markedly over a relatively short distance in the flow uh, direction. So, for example, flow of uh, water pours as a partially open gate or of a, over a fall. So after that, we can call as uh, RVF. And then uh, in certain zone, eh, uh, we cannot uh, consider still in the uniform uh, flow because still have the maybe change in the depth. Eh? Uh, you can see eh, the depth is uh, because of the wave. Eh? So the depth is uh, not anymore, uh, it's a uniform. So that's why it flow in the in depth. Then this zone we can call in the GVF. So that after the flow become the steady yeah? and then the channel also uh, uniform any uh, distance yeah? so the flow we can call us uh, uniformly flow okay now we go to the uh, understanding in the laminar and tubular flow similar to the uh, closed channel yeah we can use uh, uh, this uh, parameter to measure the open channel, but we have uh, several different within uh, measuring in the closed uh, channel uh, uh, within to the open channel. So we still use uh, Reynolds number to measure the uh, condition, the flow, uh, laminar, turbulent, trans, uh, transition, yeah, condition of the flow. So how uh, different uh, measurement within the open channel and closed channel. We will check. Yeah. Okay, we can see here the standard of uh, Reynolds uh, number uh, formula. We can use the uh, in the kinematic. Yeah, in kinematic, yeah, like the rho v r h. You can see uh, the different uh, within the open and closed. Uh, we can meet the one parameter or properties inside of the Reynolds number in open channel. We have uh, RH here. So that's why uh, in the open channel, uh, different uh, uh, within to the closed channel uh, measurement in terms of the uh, Reynolds number measurement. Eh? So we have uh, one parameter here uh, to measure in the open channel. We have uh, hydraulic radius inside of the uh, formula. So how to measure the hydraulic uh, formula uh, uh, properties is uh, by 
formula uh, AC over 2P, where the AC is the uh, area, area uh, channel. So you can see the channel will be uh, performed by various shape, yeah. Sometimes trapezoidal, sometimes with the rectangle, sometimes with semi, semi spherical. Uh, so depend on the shape of the channel. And this one is a perimeter. Perimeter you can uh, measure from the condition of the channel itself. Yeah. Uh, so I will uh, show later on uh, how to measure the uh, perimeter uh, P. So actually, perimeter P is depend on the condition roughness yeah, of the channel. And then in the uh, hydraulic diameter, uh, so we can measure. OK, uh, last time in the closed channel, we also determine yeah, the DH, yeah, DH hydraulic diameter. So depend also on the shape, correct? The shape of the uh, piping uh, condition. Sometimes in the uh, rectangle, sometimes in the uh, so, uh, rectangle and the circle, yeah, circle. Okay, in this case, in the open channel, we can uh, conclude that the uh, uh, laminar condition when we measure is less than 500. In the closed channel, I think uh, within 2000, right? 2000, uh, we can consider as laminar. But in the open, just small number. Eh? Uh, so below 500 or uh, 500 is eh? 500 and below. But in the turbulent, is higher, more than uh, 5,500. Between, uh, between uh, 500 to, to uh, 2,500, we consider transi transitional, yeah? Transici, transitional. <coughs> so, uh, the lemon, uh, sorry, uh, open channel shape, yeah? This one we can consider a rectangle shape. So we have the height or of uh, elevation fleet, yeah? or we call uh, in the YC, in YC, or Y. Sometimes we, we can call in the Y. So deepness of the uh, fleet in four meter, and then with D. Uh, width of the channel we can uh, call in the uh, D, small d, uh, 7 meter. So cross sectional area, uh, we can calculate 4 by 7, eh? and then we can get 28. So hydraulic uh, radius, so cross sectional area over to weighted perimeter. Perimeted, weighted perimeter is uh, Y, so 4 meter. Eh? One. Then we can uh, get the result for hydraulic radius is 1.87. <coughs> okay, this one is uh, uh, hydraulic uh, uh, diameter, uh, sorry, hydraulic uh, radius uh, on the uh, by barrier of the shape, yeah, processional. So remember, this one is for area, and then this one is for uh, hydraulic radius. Okay, RH is a radius. Okay, now we go to other properties to measure the condition uh, of the flow in the upper channel, we can uh, use uh, properties of fruit, yeah? fruit number. So uh, fruit number and the waste speed. Okay, if fruit number less than one, we can the subcritical or tangle flow 
and then we do uh, equal to one critical flow and then uh, bigger than one is super critical or rapid flow how to calculate a fruit number by formula v over two v is a velocity yeah? uh, over two square root of g lc lc is a characteristic length so characteristic of length of channel so if you measure the uh, uh, longer so it mean the lc measurement is uh, higher eh? so if fruit <laughs> number will be that the uh, 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 inverse linear eh? to the <coughs> LC. <coughs> okay. What the meaning? Where is to come from the fruit number? Fruit number is comparison eh? ratio between the inertia force with the gravity force. The inertia force is a uh, mv uh, square so then we can replace the mv by you know the uh, how to relate the m to the uh, v yeah so as we know rho equal to uh, volume yeah? uh, mass per volume mass per volume mass over to volume so we can relate this one uh, rho we can replace depend on the condition so actually the more inertia we can uh, replace uh, energy inertia remember uh, on both the gravity force mg so nanti uh, this uh, this one uh, we can replace by rho ke apa benda kan so then from this the formula then we can uh, get the uh, uh, fruit number this one is fruits in the still in the square so we can replace them by by this one after we simplify the formula okay now uh, we go to uh, understanding the Reynolds, uh, sorry, uh, radius, uh, hydraulic radius. So we can uh, calculate AC over two perimeter. AC is area, area is YB because the rectangle. So careful, it's not a fix, yeah. Ni tak fix because this one area it depend on the shape. This one, this one the shape nya dalam dalam apa rectangle. So kalau uh, P uh, ini pun uh, depend on the shape juga. Hmm? So actually, uh, if you check the book, uh, we have uh, 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 variate uh, condition formula R H. This one R H depend on this one R H shape. It refer pada buku, eh? refer pada on slide. Okay, that's one. Uh, how to get the fruit, yeah? the condition of the flow uh, in the open channel. So how we can describe the condition of the fruit, yeah? we can see the critical entity uh, by this one. What happened when the uh, fruit number less than the uh, one, what happened the uh, equal to one, and then uh, higher to than one. Yeah? So, come surface eh? so tengok lah macam mana gambar dia kan so the illustration of the condition of fruit eh? condition we can see the uh, animasi eh? animation in the slide so if uh, fruit number less than one small distribution surface wave travel upstream above to the downstream eh? simple yeah the small Kalau dah besar pada satu, uh, will be swept downstream. And then, it's equal, come surface, uh, there's smooth here. Yeah. So, less than one is uh, bawah lah, bawah kerap uh, critical, we call sub-critical. So, if we compare to the flow, to the uh, gas, eh, gas condition is we compare to the supersonic condition. 
to bawah supersonic atau sama dengan supersonic ataupun higher to supersonic condition. This one is a gas. Okay, now we go to uh, other uh, parameter that uh, measured in the fruit uh, number. We have the YC. Uh, we can uh, calculate other uh, YC is a deafness. Eh? Okay. Uh, condition in the what am I? Subcritical flow. Eh? Uh, if you have deafness, then uh, YC is condition is uh, less. Eh? The deaf name. So the condition here, condi to describe the condition here, yeah, uh, the upper channel. So we need the uh, 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 described by the number. So anything in the engineering, you should be described in the number, the condition. So the flow hole uh, condition is by the number. So in this case, we can consider as uh, YC uh, number. So color YC nya, macam ni, calculate and then we can get the, from the depthness eh, of the upper channel uh, less, uh, higher, uh, Y is higher to Y subcritical flow. So color YC higher number, Super critical flow. So, tak bagus lah. So, flow we have to multi berombak ambik. Yeah. And then the wave, yeah. With uh, speed CO, the speed at the which uh, surface disturbance, disturbance uh, travel to a uh, liquid. So, the wave ni, ombak lah. So, macam mana nak describe. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, anything in the engineering should be number, measure. So, how to describe the channel condition should be mentioned in the number. So, mana nak tahu numbernya, macam mana nak tahu number tu? Uh, this one is the theory there. Okay, now we go the wave speed, uh, or we call in the property CO, eh, the speed at which uh, surface this word travel to the liquid. Yeah? So, they yeah, can what in experimental, how to the measure the wave. Yeah? So, we give the moving position like piston, moving in transnational, and then we can uh, create the the wave, yeah. and then we can calculate the condition of the wave. So wave yeah, from the this one, yeah, and then make the different uh, deafness yeah, within the initial of the surface, uh, fluid of surface. Yeah. So now we have the, the wave right now. And then the wave will be uh, moving. Yeah. So the energy we can calculate yeah, by this one formula, uh, rho g h to sepatutnya, and then uh, because h uh, is uh, already increased, so increase by uh, do y, and then we can add uh, rho g h yeah, tambah lagi do y. So as we know, uh, deafness is y, and then we can add by do y. So in the other side, yeah. We have a resistance, yeah. Ada perlawanan from the initial uh, fluid condition, so we can uh, calculate by rho g y. Y is a this one uh, deafness of the other side. So dia sebetulnya berlawan dengan ombak ni. So this one uh, will be absorbed, yeah. So differentiate is uh, will be create the wave. So we can array write the formula by comparison yeah? comparison within the left and the right uh, side so this one is the right uh, left side formula this one is for the right side so we can uh, calculate <coughs> so the co itself uh, we can add from the left side so nanti akan tambah kat sini eh? formula dia add the rho uh, co uh, in the uh, left side. And then uh, from the left side and then uh, from the uh, right side formula, we can uh, simplify the formula. Uh, if we, uh, we ask about the DV itself, eh? 
so we can uh, calculate the dv so we can uh, simplify the uh, formula to find the dv so it's so on uh, anything they can uh, re elaborate uh, the formula Okay, this one is speed of surface waves. Uh, example of supercritical flow to uh, uh, slice again. So for your infinitesimal uh, surface wave surface, uh, the y less than the y. So macam ini lah. So the kalau pinggan uh, plate uh, in the uh, position uh, facing to the up uh, upward, uh, so the wave will be performed like this. So from the left side, nanti ada uh, different eh, uh, deafness yeah, within the uh, so uh, from the uh, circular circular uh, water. Eh. So you can see differentiate the deafness. Yeah. Okay, other we can uh, measure is uh, specific energy yeah, in the open channel so ada lagi uh, energy positive flow of a liquid in the uh, channel yeah. this one in open channel so we use uh, energy that uh, uh, bring by Bernoulli yeah. so we can use this uh, formula Consider the flow of liquid in the channel, you know, the variation of liquid speed over the cross section. So we have a Y, flow depth, V, average flow velocity, Z is the elevation head, and uh, P over to rho G equal to Y is the gauge pressure head, and then in the kinetic energy is a V square over to 2G is the velocity or dynamic head. So we can rewrite the formula within the Two point condition eh, in the open channel. So within, we can get this differentiate eh, within two uh, point observation by formula Z plus P over to uh, rho G plus V square over to 2G. So this one to measure the energy. So why we call the head? Because is you realize, yeah. If we try to uh, get yeah, every uh, these uh, properties, we can get the final result in the meter. Semua dapat dalam meter, semua meter. So ni bentuk pada head. head. So semua akan keluar pada head. If the reference data is taken to be uh, the bottom channel z equal to zero, then the e uh, in the energy mechanical eh, total become the this one. The energy mechanical kalau data nya sama z sama. Syarat dia z sama, so ni potong. So ni pun, uh, sorry, uh, ni tinggal nanti y. So, tinggal Y. So, tinggal lah yang ni. Y plus. Uh, oh, this one is a pressure eh, in the atmospheric. So, tinggal lah ni nanti. Energy mechanical. Okay, in the specific energy. Uh, pressure dynamic. Oh, ni. Kita boleh tukar kepada bentuk lain. Kalau lah, eh, if we consider V equal to uh, V dot, eh, volume rate eh, by YB, so we can change this one. Or this one. And then the final, we can simplify. Energy formula. So that's why uh, if we measure uh, within the deafness uh, to the energy, plot energy, so we can get the performance of the uh, graph uh, within the energy to the deafness. So it should be like the figure.
the specific energy reaches a minimum value uh, at the sum uh, intermediate point, I call it the critical point, characterized by the critical depth and critical velocity VC. The minimum specific energy is also called as the critical uh, energy. So ini condition critical tadi ya. Eh? Kalau sama-sama terjadi pada uh, Y sama dengan YC ya sama semua. So kita panggillah dia sebagai uh, minimum ya. Eh? Uh, energy minimum. Ini mention ke nanti tengok balik ya. Eh? Dekat sana. Ini terjadi pada sama. Eh? F uh, fruit equal to 1. All right, uh, now we try to uh, understanding in the example eh, how to implement uh, the formula into the problem. Okay, now we have a rectangle channel, open channel with the depth eh, of uh, liquid is uh, 0 0.50 meter uh, with the uh, width. Yeah, on small d yeah, as uh, 0 0.4 meter and then the velocity is 0 0.2 uh, sorry this one is volume rate yeah, volume volume rate 0 0.2 meter cube per second water is flowing steadily yeah, blah 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 you can get information from the text and then we can uh, as well uh, because we the information is given in the volume rate yeah, so kalau volume rate dah dapat, so kita akan cari the velocity uh, and then we can the, get the yc uh, very simple, just apply the formula and then we can get the float number. So this condition to describe eh, the channel by giving all information. So semua maklumat ada, so harap when you as an engineer you know this number then then you can imagine the channel condition so tahu maksudnya awak tahu nombor ni awak tahu uh, condition channel it's a certain channel <coughs> ada nak tanya tak any question Ada soalan? Susah ke senang? Bangan. Ada hal ni formulanya simple. So yang penting awak tahu macam mana nak letak formula tu. So sebenarnya apa yang kita pelajari hari ini? Ada idea? Sebenarnya kita nak belajar condition ya. uh, Parameter apa yang kita kena ukur Untuk open channel Untuk menggambarkan keadaan uh, flu pada uh, open channel ni kan So keadaannya macam mana so, Kalau awak engineer Awak nak bagi tahu Batasan-batasan uh, limitation of the channel So anything in the so be a measurement, yeah? so sesuatu yang boleh diukur. 
kalau tak boleh nanti macam mana nak bagi tahu dekat uh, apa namanya uh, customer kita ke ataupun uh, yang hire kita ke kan majikan kita nak bagi tahu keadaan channel ni tak boleh melebihi apa ha? tak boleh uh, kurang apa so kita nak ukur lah sesuatu so kalau kita keadaan yang sudah begini macam mana kita terangkan kepada orang keadaan kritikal macam mana nak tahu bagi tahu keadaan kritikal kita kena ukur uh, kita nak bagi tahu itulah kan Okay, sekarang kita move to uh, uniform flow in the channel. Eh? Uniform flow, the flow depth and use the average flow velocity V uh, node eh? remain constant. So, tetap constant. So, actually, we avoid yeah, the certain condition where the uh, v node and the v uh, final is uh, different so to avoid the unwanted uh, condition so if we measure uh, condition the channel from the starting until the finish is uh, considered a uh, safe yeah so kita nak bagi the flow is uh, uniform Commonly encountered in the practice in long straight run of channel with a constant slope, constant cross section, and constant surface uh, leaning. During flow in open channel of constant slope, as note, constant cross section AC and constant surface friction F, the terminal velocity is reached uh, and induced uniform flow is established with the head loss equal to elevation drop. So to avoid anything, uh, to increase the uh, what? head loss. So in the drop in the uh, closed channel, we are already uh, determined head loss uh, total that can be uh, from the device itself uh, and also uh, from uh, a fluid itself condition. So, in the we try to maintain in the laminar condition the same in the open channel. We try to uh, maintain in the uh, laminar condition to avoid the some condition uh, uh, to uh, reduce the uh, pressure drop. Sama uh, juga macam the open channel. So the calculation in the closed channel we can uh, simplify the head loss eh? every of uh, instrument we can uh, calculate by this formula uh, so depend on the each uh, instrument so akan menyumbang satu contribute the uh, head loss so this one also we had already uh, calculate uh, friction uh, coefficient yes, uh, from the closed channel and now we go to the uh, open channel uh, we can ca calculate by other uh, form of the uh, head loss formula by uh, S not L yeah? so kita akan calculate macam ini Okay, uniform flow in the channel. The average flow velocity is called the uniform flow velocity V not. V not, uh, we can calculate in the open channel. Macam ni lah. So, semua ada uh, present kan. So, S not tadi kita boleh calculate dengan uh, formula tadi apa? Uh, condition uh, head loss. Uh, condition head loss pada open channel. So, ada calculation dia. Uh, S0 is equal to tangent alpha dia. Uh, in the uh, slide. Uh, maybe 
it's not not cover or not uh, mentioned. So, but in the case, maybe it's not is constant. Yeah? So, they uh, depend pada ni lah. Pada uh, theta. So, pada alpha to theta ni, angle. So, if uh, we consider uh, graffiti, so it be is uh, moving or energy come from the uh, flow from the graffiti. Yeah? So, flow by this one. Chazy coefficient. Uh, Chazy coefficient is range from the small channel with the rough surface. Yeah. Uh, sekarang kita boleh listed the C, yeah, Chazy coefficient yeah, from the formula. Uh, then C, you get the in the table. So kalau C from the glass is a uh, really small. Yeah. Kalau rough, yeah, maybe we can get the higher number. Gutter and meaning made recommendation that the constant in the Chazy equation to be expressed as blah blah blah. We have to n and then n we can get the, the listed yeah, in the table. And then a itself is, uh, can check, uh, where's the put the a? Hmm, A constant. A is constant, this one. The root A, just put here. Complicated, the eh? formula. Never mind, maybe if uh, we, uh, in the final exam, uh, we will put all parameter or formula inside the uh, paper so you can mention in the formula list here. Critical uniform flow, uh, flow through an upper channel become critical flow when the fruit number fr equal 1 and reduce the flow speed equal to wave speed. So below uh, in the critical, eh, as we know, the FR1, yeah. FR1 is for critical, so we can calculate yeah, the FC. First, uh, square root eh, GYC. And so on, this formula. Okay, never mind, we can try to understanding from the example. Eh. Kalau tak susah nak menggambarkan to express the formula, uh, how to express the formula. Eh? So we learn from the problem. Maybe we can uh, create the understanding in the theory. Okay, we have cross-sectional in the trapezoidal shape with the depth eh, of the water is 0 0.52 meter and then uh, the bottom is with by uh, 0 0.8 meter and the angle 60 degree so we can uh, put all uh, to calculate inside of the area this one is mentioned yeah in the in the slide because yeah? trapezoidal Okay. And then P also depend on the shape. Yeah. Ini pun dah listed. Yeah. And then also this one is already uh, easy to calculate because we are already uh, determined in the uh, AC uh, perimeter. Okay, semua dah ada. Uh, ini, ini lain. Ini degree channel turun eh. This one. Okay. 
Kita boleh kira semua. Tak ada susah. Just apply. Tak ada apa yang create. Semua apply. Apply mean just use uh, all formula uh, uh, directly. Ini bentuk lain. Ini kita we go to the other shape with the rectangle condition of shape. Yeah. So semua boleh di calculate. Depend on the uh, channels uh, cross area. Eh, saya nak tanya lah. Uh, untuk tutorial, you all memang boleh follow ke kalau uh, saya letak dekat apa namanya, uh, you learn? Apa doktor? Huh? Ada lah. Sorry, sorry. Boleh ulang? Tak, slow, slow. Aku ulang balik tu. Betul yang kena ulang balik. Ha ah. Uh, Macam tergelam uh, suara doktor. Suara suara Ha ah. Oh. Maksudnya sekarang saya present suara tak dengar. Ah uh, tadi okey ni sekarang ni. Oh, okey okey okey. Okey saya masuk saya tanya tadi apa masalah dengan tutorial eh? Kalau ada masalah, kita boleh discuss. Oh. Kita nak jumpa daerah face-to-face, bahayalah sekarang. Ini baru je kita dalam, uh, apa namanya, kena bersihkan, uh, uh, ada student yang kena. Kita mm -hmm. kena bersihkan, ada... So, besok saya harap boleh datang eh. Uh, maksudnya datang ke ni online je tutorial. Apa-apa yang boleh discuss, kita discuss. Kalau face to face saya risau lah. Okay, okay. okay. Kita sambung ni eh. Kalau untuk example, saya harap Uh, semua boleh belajar sendiri dekat slide sebab saya tengok tak ada masalah macam mana nak apply formula ni yang penting konsep saya ajarkan awak konsep nanti awak uh, fahami sendiri dengan tengok example Ini banyak lagi slide. Cuma habis hari ni juga. Okay, now we proceed to other uh, parameter. Best hydraulic cross-sectional. Function of open channel system, transport a liquid to a location at a lower elevation at a specified rate under the influence of gravity at the lowest possible cost. So actually, as I mentioned before, the transfer of open channel is dominated by uh, gravity. So from the higher elevation to the lower uh, elevation. And then This one is uh, we increase the uh, efficiency because we transfer is uh, uh, a lot number or a big number of the fleet. So that's why we uh, try a transfer 
by using uh, graffiti only. Eh? So that's why we uh, use upper channel. So the energy input is required and the primary cost, initial construction cost, eh? for example, proportional to the physical size of the uh, system. Eh? Therefore, for a given channel length, the perimeter of channel is uh, representative of the channel uh, system cost and it should be kept the minimum in order to minimize the size and lose the cost system. So you can see the figure describing the upper channel condition by a various shape of channel. So this one is main, is uh, open channel, eh? main influenced by atmospheric pressure. Passerally cross section, uh, resistor of flow is uh, D2, wall shear. Okay. So, kita akan dapat the eh, resistance from the wall, eh, uh, roughness of the wall. And then wall area is huge and then will be uh, much influence eh, in the uh, loss, eh, head loss. Therefore, for a given uh, area, the smaller the weighted perimeter P, the smaller the resistor force, the larger the V uh, node and then uh, V dot uh, or volume rate. Uh, for specified channel geometry with a specific uh, S node and surface leaning, and use the roughness coefficient and the flow velocity, the I mean formula is uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can see here. Uh, influence by roughness, V by roughness. So now calculate our general loop here by this one. Uh, depend on the uh, channel itself. So the channel itself will contribute much uh, uh, in the condition of the flow. Therefore, the uh, radius uh, hydro uh, must be maximized and this the weighted perimeter must be minimized since the uh, radius H equal to the AC over to P. In order to maximize the average flow uh, or the flow rate per unit cross sectional area. So, this one is a uh, thing conclusion eh? uh, to increase the efficiency. Sorry, sir. Uh, N tadi stand for apa, sir? Yeah, apa, 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 eh? Sorry, uh, N, N tadi. Then for what, sir? Oh, yang tadi, itu constant pada condition channel, roughness, material, ya, ya, apa. Kalau stand for, sekejap ya, saya cek. Okay, kalau rekam buku, awak boleh tengok muka surat 739. So, ya. Yeah. Uh, mana dia tadi? Um, many coefficients. Ini dah listed. Nanti indikasi. Kalau exam, jadi kita akan bagi dalam bentuk table dia awak pilih ok ok, kita berhenti dah ni ni uh, conclusion summary untuk, untuk dapatkan uh, nilai terbaik, keadaan terbaik untuk setiap properti. Kalau hidrolik, macam mana nak terbaik. So, ini kita gambarkan kepada cross section. So, the best hidrolik cross sections, the best hidrolik cross section for an upper channel is a semi-circular. So, dia bagi ni lah. Ini keadaan terbaik. Uh, rectangular open channel of width 
B and flow def Y for a given cross-sectional area, the highest flow rate is Q when the Y equal to B over 2. So, kalau nak terbaik lah, Y tu B over 2, setengah B lah. Kalau bentuk rectangle. Nah, sekarang dia measure the best hydraulic cross-section uh, ratio, aspect ratio uh, in the uh, semi, eh, semi circle ataupun kita panggil uh, half circle. Eh. So, dia akan plot. So, dia orang dah buat kajian mana yang terbaik. So, just uh, follow the researcher. So, we can get the the maximum uh, size. Eh. So, kalau nak design in the center condition, we can uh, use this uh, graph in the uh, semi, eh, semi hydraulic, eh, hydraulic, semi, uh, semi, uh, spherical, uh, semi circle, sorry. This one is how to uh, design uh, to get the rectangle channel. Uh, this one is a trapezoidal channel. Channel and design terbaik ah. Okay, this one example comparison between the rectangle condition and then trapezoidal condition. So, what will be represent the best yeah, uh, of the uh, hydraulic yeah, condition? So, kita akan compare ya. So, berapa yang terbaik ya? Mana yang uh, uh, the best one lah. So, kalau untuk yang the best cross-sectional trapezoidal are present by B and then the, the best uh, rectangle uh, uh, cross-sectional rectangle we present by uh, uh, A eh? so they can compare so kalau nak design untuk rectangle uh, capacity yang sama ni uh, 2 meter cube per second so kita akan uh, design Untuk rectangle, uh, B nya berapa and kedalaman dia, depth of the water berapa. And then for the trapezoidal condition, uh, kita akan design uh, Y dia uh, 0 0.9 and then the B dia and theta. So, kita akan design. Actually, this one is a more to civil engineering. Eh? But never mind. We can uh, consider as our knowledge. Eh? Maybe someday we will uh, facing in this condition how to design the open channel from the dam uh, flow. So we can design the channel based on the flow rate. Eh? Remember, based on the flow rate. Berapa flow rate and then design the channel. Okay, gradually barrier flow. Condition. Uh, tadi gradually apa tadi? Uh, based on the deafness ya. Uh, berubah. So kerana ketinggian permukaan air berubah. So kita panggil gradually variate flow. A form steady non-uniform flow. Characterized by gradually variation of flow depth and velocity. So in the same time the velocity also change ya. Small slope and no abrupt change and free surface that always remains smooth. No discrepancies or zigzags. 
cause a change in the bottom slope uh, across section of channel or obstruction in the path of flow may cause the uniform flow in the channel to become gradually or repeatedly barrier flow to uba. So calculate V here. Yeah. Berapa berubah? So complicated, eh? Ini kita proses saja, kita ambil konsep saja. Okay, this one is uh, to describe the flow condition in a certain channel. If uh, example given is uh, on river, uh, Chicago River shown is uh, condition is uh, critical or subcritical or maybe supercritical. So, kalau kita tengok, uh, if we can see the uh, Chicago River is maybe subcritical. Or you can measure uh, to describe the river flow. Maybe you can determine the FR uh, fruit number, and then if we measure if a number is less than one, so this means yeah, in the sub uh, critical. Maybe it's not more than one. I think it's a higher is the fruit number in one only. Okay, gradually variable flow is uh, from the bottom line, yeah, from the higher to the lower elevation, we can call Maybe the condition is uh, gradually by uh, change in the depthness of the flow. Eh? And then at the same time, in the direction from the low elevation to the high elevation, sometimes we can also consider is gradually variation flow. Skala depthness eh? change. Okay, this result important for me classification. If you surface profile as function, root number, uh, and then the S is uh, considered to mention to what? Friction, yeah, friction slope. So friction slope, uh, initial and uh, friction slope, and uh, <coughs> uh, after, uh, yeah, after uh, flow during the channel, eh? so I can take out lah.
sometime friction flow from initial is lower and then after through the channel is higher yeah. See. Okay, you can see the depth based on the depthness of the uh, channel, yeah. Variate condition of the surface, uh, sorry, the uh, flow. So we can see we have three layer here. The first layer will be maybe in the uniform flow. Second layer is a maybe change flow. Other flow condition, yeah, critical flow, and then how about the uh, near to the uh, bottom? So kind of onion line line. So we can describe the condition uh, each uh, layer. So kind of onion line layer. Flow control and measurement. Okay, when we measure the condition of the flow condition, we can measure uh, based on the uh, location. So we can uh, measure uh, the flow uh, in front of the gate. We can measure the condition uh, be before uh, the gate, and then we can measure the condition in the during along the uh, channel so we can describe the condition uh, by variable condition so data sama so measurement is uh, depend on the uh, point of uh, observation so sometimes uh, we can uh, we need uh, to determine the condition in front of the gate so we can uh, design uh, proper design uh, construction eh? Uh, before uh, the flow to, to the gate and then we also need to describe the condition after the gate what the flow condition so we can de uh, design proper uh, in the uh, channel so thank you so I can add obstruction liquid to flow over uh, mungkin ada erosion, so we try to avoid uh, unwanted uh, condition that can be a failure to the uh, structure. So we can control. Uh, macam ini, so kita akan control lah. Macam mana nak? Kalau kita nak kurangkan nilai Kena lepaskan macam mana? How to the uh, release uh, the water condition uh, within the range what? Eh? So, so we uh, measure variable. So this one is, we can uh, conclude that the uh, within, uh, this one is a uh, uh, gate, eh? gate condition. So kita boleh choose lah yang mana kita nak.
Okay, this one example how to uh, control the gain eh? condition. So, nak macam mana? Kita nak Y nya dua berapa? So, kita nak control dia. So, kita akan uh, try guna uh, formula ni dengan maintain ketinggian uh, Y2 and Y1 and then uh, gate open and uh, gate open. Uh, size open eh? open size so kita akan bagi berapa dia flow semualah oh, banyak lah chapter ni kena habiskan dalam satu hari cepat tua kita ni Saya agak bukan semua kita kena belajar. So, kita belajar konsep saja dulu. Kita chapter ni. So, tak, saya ingat saya stop sampai sini ni lah. Ada apa lagi lah nak diterangkan. Ini terlalu banyak ni. So, saya buka pada soalan. Kalau ada apa-apa nak -apa, discuss. Nak tanya. Okay, ada salah. So far that is it. So kita jumpa dekat, dekat Teams. Okay, if we don't have any to discuss, so I will close the class and don't forget to fulfill the task and then uh, before 12, eh? Before 12 o'clock. And see you tomorrow for a tutorial. Eh? Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, sir. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you, sir. Waalaikumsalam, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor.